Hi everyone, my name is Miss Yvonne, and today we are going to do a story time all about colors. So, if you are ready, let's get started. So, the first story we are going to talk about is about. Can you tell? This this animal here. Yeah, it is a dog with a black spot on his body, and the book is called Dog's Colorful Day. By Emma Dodd. Let's see what the story is about. This is Dog. As you can see, Dog is white with one black spot on his left ear. At breakfast time, Dog sits under the table as usual. Splat! A drip of jam lands on his back. Uh oh. Now dog has two spots. So what is the color of the gem here? Can you tell? Yes, it is red. So let's put a red spot on dog's body. After breakfast, dog runs outside. He sleeps past the man painting the front door. Hmm. Splish! His tail dips into the blue paint. Uh oh. Now dog has three spots. What is the color of the paint? Yes, it is blue. So let's put the blue spot onto dog's tail. There you go. Dog runs to the park and rolls on the grass. Ooh, squash! The grass makes a green stain on his white coat. Now dog has how many spots? That's right. Dog has four spots now. And what is the color of the new spot here? It is green. So let's put the green spot onto dog's body. Dog follows the little boy eating chocolate. Squish! The boy gives dogs a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate. Hmm. Now dog has how many spots? One, two, three, four, and five. And what is the color of this spot here? That's right. It is brown. Let's put it onto dog's body. A bee buzzes up to see what is going on. Swish! The bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. Now dog has one, two, three. Four, five, and number six. What is the color of this spot? That's right. It is yellow. So now let's give the dog a new spot over here. Dog trots on through the park. Splash! A drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. Uh oh. Now dog has how many spots? Let's count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and the new one is what color is this? Yeah, it is pink. Let's put it on his right ear. Time to go home. Dog runs up to the street. Splash! A bouncing ball splatters dog with gray mud. Uh oh. Now dog has how many spots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what is this color here? Yeah, it is gray. And eight. In front of the gate, dog steps on a carton of orange juice. Uh oh, splurt! A patch of orange appears on his leg. Now dog has how many spots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and what is the color here? Orange. And now there you go, the ninth spot. Now dog has nine spots. Dog races back inside the house and knocks right into Vicky. Silly dog! Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on dog's head. Uh oh! 
No dog has how many spots left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have this color here. And it is purple. And ten. And now dog has ten spots. Vicky looks down at dog. Hmm. Do you think the dog is clean now? Not really. She counts his colorful spots. Vicky looks closely and dog has a red spot of jam, a green stand of grass, a blue block of paint, a yellow patch of pollen, a brown smear of chocolate, a pink drop of ice cream, an orange splash of juice, a gray splatter of mud, a purple smudge of ink, and of course, a black spot on his left ear. You need a bath, dog. And now it's time for doggy to take a bath. Here you go. And now all these little spots are gone, except for the black spot on his ear. When dog climbs into bed, he has just one black spot on his left ear. It's time for bed. Here you go, doggy. Good night, dog. And do you see what he is dreaming over here? There are a lot of colorful bones. What a colorful day we've had. The end. Okay, now that we finish a story about dog, let's do another colorful story of... What is this animal here? Yeah, it's a cat. The book is called Cat Colors by Early Anderson. Whoa, there are a lot of colorful spots here. It was cloudy outside. Cat was doing gray day things. Hmm. Then she had an idea. <gasps> it was time to collect some colors. Do you think it would be great for the cat to have some colors? Yeah, I think so too. She looked at the green ceiling of leaves. Hmm. She breathed in the smell of, what is this over here? That's right, red roses. Mmm, it smells so nice. <gasps> wow, what do you see over here? I see a blue pond with fish inside. She reflected on the blue pond. Oh, the cat see herself here. She noticed a flutter of, what is this color? That's right, purple on the branch. That is a butterfly. As the sun set, Cat took in the, what is the color here? Yeah, the orange sun, the orange light. Later, she gazed at the sparkling black cosmos. Oh, this is pretty. She found a cozy sleeping spot under the yellow moon. Now, can you see the cat here? Yeah, she's hiding. Cat, are you there? Do you spot a cat here? That's right, she's over here. Oh, cat! How many little kittens do you see here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what are the colors of the kittens? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and black. Oh, now they are playing together. The end.
Okay, now that we finish our first two stories about colors, we are going to sing a song about colors too, alright? And I'm gonna sing the sound now and you can follow me, okay? So let's get started. Do you see all the colors here? We have red, orange, purple, yellow, green, and blue. So let's start our song. First come red and orange too, shining yellow, green, and blue. Purple ends a pretty race, only seen on rainy days. First come red and orange too, shining yellow, green, and blue. That's right. So let's sing this song for one more time, all right? First come red and orange too, shiny yellow, green and blue. Purple ends the pretty rays, only seen on rainy days. First come red and orange too, shiny yellow, green and blue. That's great everyone! So for the next story, we are going to talk about mix. A colorful story by Ari Chong. Well, that's a lot of spots over here. Let's see what the story is about. In the beginning, there were three colors. Can you tell what these colors are? That is red, and that is yellow, and that is blue. That's right. Red were the loudest. La 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 la. And yellow were the brightest. Yay! And blue were the coolest. <gasps> wow! Everyone lived in color harmony until... Hmm, one afternoon when a rat said, Rats are the best! Do you think rats are the best? Hmm. The yellow disagreed. No, we are the best because we are the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. The colors decided to live in separate parts of the city. The rats lived over here, blue lives over here, and the yellows lived over there. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue. Oh, and something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you, the blue said. And I feel so calm when I'm with you, the yellow said. Yellow and blue became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant, but not all the colors were happy about it. Colors shouldn't mix. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. But yellow and blue loved each other so much, they decided to mix. Together, they created a new color. What is this color over here? That's right. When you mix blue and yellow, you get green. They named her green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue. But really, she was a color of her own. Everyone was fascinated. I've never seen anything like her before. She is so cute. Can I hold her? Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon other colors mixed and mixed. So if you mix red and yellow, what do you get? That's right, orange. And if you mix blue and red, you get And mixed. Now you have all sorts of color here. There were so many new colors and a lot of new names. 
Be careful, Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Have fun, Amber. Wow, all these new names for colors. The old neighborhood of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. Wow. The new city was full of colors. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. The end. Now do you see that there are all sorts of color spots here? Okay, so now we are going to do a rhyme about five little crayons. What colors do you see here? That's right, there are yellow, blue, orange, red, and green. So let's do this rhyme together, all right? Five little crayons color the same. Yellow, blue, orange, red, and green. Look, said yellow, my sun is bright. Blue said, great, my river is just right. Orange said, flowers, I'll draw something new. And red said, great, I'll add something too. <sighs> Sigh, said green, I'm tired of trees and grass and bushes and tiny leaves. Hmm, wait, I think I'll draw a green cloud. Do you think a green cloud is good? A big green cloud should be allowed. The crayons all smiled and didn't think twice. A big green cloud sounded rather nice. Good job, everyone. Okay, now we have our very last story and it's about Bear Seas Colors by Karma Wilson and Jen Chapman. Let's see what the story is about. Bear sees colors. What do we have here? That's a little mouse and a bear. Mouse and bear are walking. They are chitter chatter talking so much for them to do. And the bear see. Whoa, what is this color here? That's right, blue. Blue flowers by the trail. Blue berries. Blue pail. Blue, blue everywhere. Can you spy blue with bear? What is the color of the fish here? Yeah, that is blue too. Along the trail, hop. What is this animal? Yeah, that's a hare. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. Here points up ahead and the bear sees. What is the color here? That's right, red. Red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries, red, red everything. Can you spy red with bear? What is the color of the bird here? Yeah, it's also red. Oh, ooh, we have a new animal here and it's a badger. Badger's at a pond with his old galoshes on. Look there, badger bellows. And then the bear sees. <gasps> what is the color here? Yeah, it's yellow. Drippy, sticky, oh, so yummy honeycombs with yellow honey. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? Do you see the yellow bees here? And I see some yellow lemons too. Oh. I see two other animals here. Gulver's out with Mole. They're on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream and the bear sees. <gasps> what is the color here? That's right, green. Green mint for making tea. Green and tasty peas. 
Green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? What do you see here? I see a green cup. I see a green frog. <gasps> wow, we have more animals here. Raven, owl, and wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather round and the friends see. Whoa, what is the color over here? It's brown. Chocolate cake, brown and sweet. Brown cookies, such a treat. Brown eyes, brown hair, friendly, fluffy brown. We have all sorts of browns here. Bear! It's a brown bear too. Colors, colors everywhere. Can you find colors just like bear? The end. Now we finish our color story time. My name is Miss Yvonne and I'll see you next time. Bye.